Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is the Blue Elephant. So this is one of the new Smiling Critter characters that Mob Entertainment recently showed off. So as of yet, this character doesn't have an official name, but the Poppy Playtime Wikipedia calls it the Blue Elephant, so we're just going to go with that name. But feel free to comment down below what you think this character's name should be. So in this video, we're going to go through this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But just keep in mind that this is just a what-if scenario. This is not what's actually going to happen in Chapter 3. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to like this video and subscribe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of the Blue Elephant. So recently, Mob Entertainment released a photo of what looks to be the next toy antagonist for Chapter 3. And these new toys are called the Smiling Critters. These are a whole lineup of cute slash kinda creepy looking plush toys. Each toy has a large, empty open smile, with two black eyes, a zipper on their chest and stomach, and a unique tag on each zipper. Out of all these Smiling Critters, there's one toy that stands out to mostly everyone. That being, the Purple Cat. Something tells me we're going to be seeing a lot more of this character in Chapter 3. But what about all the other Smiling Critters? Well, from what we can see, there's a yellow bird, a red bear, a green rabbit, orange dog, white unicorn, a pink pig, and a blue elephant. Now it's unclear as of yet what role any of these other characters will play in Chapter 3. But if we had to pick one extra possible character to include in this chapter, we would want to pick the blue elephant. So without any more delay, let's get into the story of this mysterious Blue Elephant. So now we return to our main player protagonist. They've been wandering through the factory and found themselves in a brand new area. It looks to be another manufacturing area for a certain type of toy. And the toys that are created in this area are the Smiling Critters. The player isn't very familiar with these toys. They don't remember working on anything like them when they were employed at the factory. But then again, it's been a while since they've worked here. There was an old poster on the wall for the line of toys. The player stared at the poster and got a better look at all these strange looking toys. There was something odd about them. They didn't really know why, but each of these toys looked evil and sinister. I guess due to all the time the player has spent here, they've learned not to trust anything in this factory. The player notices that one of the animal characters has been scratched out. They didn't know why, but it definitely felt strange. The player doesn't want to stay in this area for much longer. They need to find the exit soon and get out of here. After searching around, they come to what looks like the only way forward. It was a play slide, but the entrance to the slide was locked shut. They can see that there's a panel that looks like it needs a certain shaped item to fit into it. If they find this item, then surely this slide will open and the player can finally make their exit. So with that in mind, the player sets out to find this item. But no matter how much they search, they can't seem to find anything with the correct shape. But as they walk down a corridor, they see something that might be what they're after. It was one of those strange smiling critters. More specifically, it was the blue elephant. It was just sitting there in the middle of a hallway. The player notices the shape around its neck. That's it. The light bulb shape is what they need to open up the slide. But surely that little medallion won't fit in the large panel. As they approach it, all of a sudden a giant snake slams down on it and eats it whole. The player quickly hides behind a wooden crate. The player can hear the toy being consumed with a disturbingly loud chewing sound. As the player peeks over the wooden crate, they soon realise that this was no snake. It was in fact a large trunk. They look up and see who the trunk belongs to. It was a much larger version of the blue elephant. This disturbing toy creature had dark hollow eyes and a mouth filled with sharp teeth. They also had two large pointy tusks and a strange trunk with a mouth of its own. It appears that this twisted toy elephant was consuming all the toys in this area. They seemed hungry and would probably want to eat something bigger than this small toy. As the player looks at this creature, they finally see what they're after. It was the large light bulb medallion. This one is the perfect size to fit in the panel. But unfortunately, the player needs to grab it off this monstrous creature. And with that trunk in the way, there's no clear opening for the player to snatch it with the grab pack. They would need to figure out how to get that trunk out of the way. As the player follows the blue elephant, they notice they keep eating the small versions of themselves. The strangest thing of all is it wasn't even using its giant mouth. It only seems to consume things with its trunk. And that's when the player got a bright idea. All they would need to do is suspend one of those toys high up. 
and let the blue elephant try and reach for it with its trunk. Whilst it's busy, the player would grab the medallion. So they tracked down one of the toys and found a good place to suspend it. Now they would just have to wait for the blue elephant to find it. A few moments later, and it has taken the bait. As it reaches up for the toy, the player finally makes their move. They quickly latch onto it with the grab pack and rip the light bulb medallion off their body. The player now has exactly what they need, but this snatch and grab of the light bulb medallion didn't go unnoticed. The elephant is now looking directly at them. Then all of a sudden, it charges straight towards the player. Now the chase was on to get back to the slide. The player has to rush through all the corridors and rooms to get back to the locked slide. They need to keep running because if they stop for even a second, the elephant would get them. Finally, the player makes it to the slide. They quickly place the medallion and the slide opens up. They rush down and just barely get away. Luckily, the blue elephant's trunk isn't long enough to grab them. The player reaches the end of the slide and comes to a long corridor with the exit at the end. Now, all they need to do is walk down to the exit. But little did they know, it wouldn't be that easy. In a last ditch effort to attack the player, the blue elephant smashes their trunk through the wall vents. They must be right on the other side of the wall. The player has to be careful not to get grabbed by the deadly trunk. They would need to time it correctly and run down at the right time. Eventually, they make it to the exit safe and sound. As they get away from this horrible elephant, they can't help but think what other twisted toys are waiting for them ahead. Will any more of their smiling critter friends be waiting for them? Who knows? But until then, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that including the blue elephant would be pretty interesting to see. Even seeing all the other smiling critters and their evil toy versions would be pretty awesome. But like we said, it isn't totally clear if we'll be seeing these characters in Chapter 3. Maybe they might make an appearance in Chapter 4. Regardless, I think the smiling critters are an awesome addition to the Poppy Playtime characters. And I can't wait to see what awaits us in Chapter 3. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing, it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the blue elephant and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.